Hey guys, Greg here with Lens Pro to Go, and today I'm going to show you how to super speed your editing by using these easy shortcuts. Let's hop into the computer. The main shortcuts that I use for a bulk of the editing process is Q, W, and E, and the spacebar to play and pause. Q and W are both ripple edit tools, and I've set up E to be my add edit, which is usually defaulted to Command K. It's just a little bit easier to leave my hand up there with those other shortcuts. So instead of getting my cutting tool and cutting around the area that I want to keep, and then deleting the clips on either side and then the extra spaces to collapse it back together, I can just hit Q at the beginning of the part that I want to keep and then either W or E at the end. W will get rid of the rest of the clip and E will just add an edit. So you'll use that if you have more on that same clip that you want to have in your video. So I'll scrub to the beginning of the next thought or part that I want to keep and hit Q to delete the space between and repeat for the rest of the shot. I try to do this very quick and not worry about how it sounds at first, just making sure I get the whole thought in there. Once I have all my edits and all my clips are done, I go back to the beginning to do the cleanup. So I'll play through it and if there's weird pauses at the beginning of the clip, I'll trim it out using the shortcut Q. And if there's weird pauses at the end of the clip, I'll trim it out with W. Now that I have my bass done, I'm gonna be adding some B-roll over top. I have two shots here, one with my hand on the keyboard and one with my hand on the mouse. In the preview window, I'm gonna to scrub to where I want the B-roll clips to start. And instead of dragging the endpoint from here or clicking this endpoint button, I'll just hit I. That places the end point, and then I'll hit the space to play it. Then when I want the clip to end, I can hit the space to pause it and hit O to set the out point. Now I can just drag this shot down, and because I only want the video, I don't want the audio of it, I'll drag it from right here, and I'll place this on the second layer over top. And then I can go to my next shot and do the same thing. So I'll do I to place the in point, and then O to place the out point, and then drag it down. So these two clips are on here, but if we play this back, you can see that it cuts back to the wide, and I don't want it to do that. So what we could do is try to extend the clip as much as we can, but you see I start to pull my hand away too soon, so that's not gonna work. What you can do though, is hit R to get the time restretch tool, and then grab the end of this clip that's not long enough, and drag it to meet the other shot of the mouse. It looks much better now, but the one thing you do wanna be careful with about this tool is stretching it too much. Because it's basically just slowing it down, it'll start to look very stuttery. You can also use this in the reverse to fit a longer clip into a smaller area if you need to show that whole shot. Now that there's a solid foundation, I think I'm ready to watch back the whole thing. When I'm watching back my edits to make sure that they flow well, I almost always do it in a faster speed. And I can do this by hitting L. That will start the video playing back, and then when you hit it again, it will go to two times speed, one more time it'll go to three times speed, and so on. If you hit J, that will actually play it in reverse, and you can do the same thing if you hit it more than once, it will go faster and faster. So this section is pretty much set. The last thing to do is clean up the audio and make sure that there's no hard cuts in the sound because that can be really distracting, even more so than the video. What I like to do with each edit point in the audio is select it and then hit Command Shift D. That adds a fade between one audio to the next. Once I have done that with every edit, I'll go back and listen to it in regular speed and see if there's any audio overlap of the clips. If you do hear overlapping sound, just shorten up one of the transitions like this. Lastly, and the most important one is Command S. This quickly saves your work when you're thinking about what the next clip to bring in should be, or after you just made a few edits, you need to make it second nature to do this all the time. It'll save you so much headache when Adobe crashes and you lose a ton of keyframing or other tedious tasks. Hopefully these tips are gonna help you guys speed up your editing process. If you learned something new, make sure to hit that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to head on over to our channel. We put up at least two videos every week. I'll see you guys in the next one.